that was the silent with we three kings here on your radio station am 930 the light edmonton's positive talk well it's time for us to go to prayer so whatever your need is today it could be physical spiritual emotional intellectual financial or family i want you to know today that god can do and will do exceedingly a abundantly beyond what you're able to ask or even imagine. So Lord, today we're so grateful for household salvation. We have this wonderful promise found in Acts 16.31 that not only are we going to be saved, but our household as well. Again, we pray for divine intervention in the lives of our family and friends today. And especially at this Christmas season, we're going to pray that Lord, Somehow, some way, you're going to be able to reach our loved ones today, especially those that have become wayward, what we call the prodigals. Father, there's a wonderful promise found in Proverbs 22, 6. It simply says, train a child in the way they should go, and when they're old, they will not depart from it. Lord, we're claiming that right now in the name of Jesus. Also as well, Lord, thank you. For your healing touch. First Peter 2.24 is the scripture that we stand upon today. And let's also thank you, Lord, for Isaiah 53, verse number 5, that says basically the same thing, that, Lord, you are our healer today. So wherever we find ourselves today, Lord, whatever we're facing, we have a wonderful promise, and we're going to claim it right now that you are Jehovah Rophi, our healer. Thank you as well, Lord, for your provision today. We thank you that you are Jehovah Jireh, and you are going to supply every need according to your riches and glory. That is such a tremendous promise to stand upon today and to know that lord not only during the christmas season but throughout the entire year every need is going to be supplied i love what david said when he said the lord owns the cattle on a thousand hills isn't that great to know that the resources of heaven are available to us? It was James who said this, that every good and perfect gift comes down from the Father of lights. Where there is no shadow or burial or turning, there is a consistency and a constancy, Lord, in that. And we're so grateful today for that. Also as well, Lord, we continue to pray for those in our transportation, retail, and also as well, Lord, the rest restaurant business. We know that, Lord, this is a busy time, and people's uh, tempers and dispositions can be a little bit on the <laughs> short side. So, Father, today, we're praying today for those that are in these different uh, industries. Father, please be with those that are traveling today and bringing us our goods, those who are working in the retail stores, those who are working in restaurants and, and places like that, please, Lord, just give them a little extra grace and protection today. We're grateful for that. And Lord, also as well, we pray for our seniors and shut-ins today. Thank you, Lord, for them. We know that, Lord, they may not be able to get out today. So, Lord, we just pray that in those times of frustration, discouragement, where they feel overwhelmed, Lord, let your mercy, your grace, and your love fall upon them. And also the caregivers, those who support them as well. And we want to thank you, Lord, for all of these things. In your name we pray, Jesus. 